I got a message. Someone wrote me. How can I store user information dynamically according to my services requirement? Good question. Ori handles this issue with custom identity schemas. Let's see how they work in Ori Creators. Hey everyone, Sophia here. Today we're going to see what identity schemas are and how you can use them with Ori Creators. It can be difficult to manage user identities, especially when your system encompasses a variety of different users. Sometimes it's necessary to store more than one identity in your system. For example, an application designed for a nursing home will have different types of users, ranging from patient to doctor to admin. With Ori Creators, all these identities are stored in parallel, remaining easily accessible and usable. This is thanks to Kratos' JSON schemas, allowing more than one identity for each user, all on the same system. Let's see together how to customize your identity schemas in your Ori console. Click on the button Identity Schema. Each schema has an ID, a title, this could be for example admin, business owner, business manager, customer, etc. The property we're going to focus on is Trades. Trades contain optional properties and can be used to store additional information that may not be required for each user. Click on Customize Identity Schema, pick a name. Let's add, for example, language to our trades. This is of type string. We can also add a title, language. And update. The traits can be altered by users themselves with a self-service settings API or by anyone with access to the administrative API. I added language, but you can think of a bunch of other traits you can collect. For example, username, birthday, shoe size if you have a shoe business, or even just your user's shipping address so that the user doesn't have to input it every step of the way. Once you've submitted a login flow, copy the session token and start a self-service settings get request by pasting a session token in the value of authorization header, send the request, copy the settings flow ID and paste it in a self-service settings post request to submit your changes. The headers are the same and the body consists of a method profile and the traits you want to update. Don't forget to enter your email. Send the request and you will receive a message from Ori saying your changes have been saved. So what are you waiting for? Start thinking of some unique and interesting user traits that you can implement in your own identity schema. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye.